things are headed. It's very well received. The speaker's uh -huh. going to fight for the American people today at 3 at the White House. Uh -huh. We've got to get something done. President Biden has delayed, delayed, delayed. It's going to be around his neck and the Democrats, not the Republicans. What was the message from the speaker about how the conference should sit together? We are together. We've been together on this. We've done our part. We have passed a bill that raises the debt limit. It's now for the President of the United States to stop delaying. He should not be leaving the country. He needs to get something done for the American people. And the President skipped his report. Was the meeting an update on those? But it has gotten much worse under this administration with some of the spending under the American Rescue Plan, the IRA, the IIJA, all of these bills spending literally trillions and trillions of dollars. It's exacerbated the situation. I mean, these numbers, it, it is, it is mind-boggling. I'm going to say it again. We're going to spend $10 trillion just on interest payments over the next 10 years. Think for just a minute about all the priorities people have at home, whether it's traffic projects, flood protection, resiliency, whether it's education or health care, many, many other priorities, and we can't find dollars for them, yet we're going to flush $10 trillion down the toilet over the next 10 years on interest payments? This is crazy what's going on right now. We've got to bend this curve. We're almost two weeks away. And, and, and this isn't going to be an overnight uh, passage through the United States Senate. I think we can get it quickly through the House, as we did last time. But, um, but, but negotiations need to uh, be acted on with urgency. I have concern that the president's uh, likely leaving the country tomorrow. That doesn't reflect the urgency that we see behind this negotiation. Should he skip that trip overseas? Look, I'm not, going to, I'm not going to speak to that. I think that needs to be the president's decision. But the bottom line is that there is urgency uh, behind this. This, what's happening domestically and what we're, uh, the financial state of this country needs to be a top priority. Senator Schumer and the White House have said they wanted to do a clean debt ceiling, meaning incurring more debt on our children and grandchildren without any type of spending curve or reducing uh, future spending and future deficits. That can't pass either the House or the Senate. You've got enough members on the record saying they would not vote for it. So it's not a viable option. We are the only ones that have acted with urgency by putting something together that's actually passed the House. Speaker of the House has led this effort. It's resulted in us getting something through the House. And until the Senate actually passes something, I'm not sure that they have much credibility on this issue. Do you think negotiations should just be between where you are on this debt ceiling negotiation. It sounds like there is a negotiation. You can, you, you think there's any bridge forward? Well, I hope so. There's only one party to this negotiation, and that's Speaker McCarthy, who still is actively engaged in threatening to have us default on our debts for the first time in the history of the United States. Uh, he's got to come off of that if we're going to have a productive and uh, really helpful result of this. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Thanks for stopping. Thank you.